All right, No Frills, Lost in You, super killer track. Uh, let's listen, and then we have some things to say. All right. A lot of percussion, a lot of right hand stuff happening with slaps, pops, flicks, etc. I'm going to not go into a lot of detail about those things. I'm um, going to mostly talk to you about the left hand stuff, what's going on there, get you through the chords, learn the harmony, figure out what's happening in the song. And a lot of the right hand stuff uh, you'll just have to learn by listening and re-listening to the song and just practicing it because we'll be here for a thousand years if we try to analyze every little thing his right hand is doing. Okay, so let's just go through the chords quickly. They're on the screen, so let's go through the chords, make sure everybody's happy with that. D over F sharp to start. G. A minor seven. E minor seven. D sus two. Other chords we need in this are G over B, C add nine, and then in addition to the D sus two, we need a D sus two over F sharp, which is formed by putting your pinky right there. That's the F sharp, which gives us another version kind of of this chord here. So you have the F sharp there. And we're making another version of this chord by putting the F sharp an octave higher. Very cool. Nick likes this chord, by the way. You'll see it elsewhere. Okay, so putting this together. That's what we've got. So D over F sharp to G, A minor, E minor 7, D sus 2, repeat the D F sharp to G bit. Then we have a little walk up from A minor 7, G over B to our C over, or sorry, C add 9. The third time, Minor seven, E minor seven, D sus two, and then we add the D sus two over F sharp chord. So, if we look at the chords in and of themselves, there's nothing really too difficult here. Nothing that you've probably never done before. The only one that may be new to you is the D sus two over F sharp, and that's real simple to to figure that one out. So let's play it and play over it. All right, very cool. Now, uh, again, the right hand is very busy here with um, Flick in, tap in, pop in. Work on the chord movement. Get that figured out. Get, get comfortable just doing the basics there with your right hand. And then start adding in the percussive stuff. So that's where you've always got to start. Figure out what the chords are first and then go from there. So there's nothing really difficult about this. Um, terms of the chords but you see there's all these little little flicks and shit that he's doing in here now uh, I highly suspect I'm pretty sure I'm correct about this that this song like most if not all of the songs on no frills tons of punch-ins overdubs composites Nick did a video uh, or a, a podcast rather about this some years ago where he talked about how this record was assembled so to speak from many different takes and such so the point that i'm making here is 
I would suggest you watch one of the live versions of this song. I'll link you to the one that I like and use that as your your barometer, your baseline, your metric for performing this song because the studio version is so unbelievably perfect and with all these little... Uh, I think there's a lot of actually overdubbed and added percussion in here. And it can make you crazy trying to get every little detail right. It's a good challenge and it's doable, but um, I think it's more important to have fun. So just go find in the links uh, the version I'm going to link you from Manchester in 2010 and check that one out. So that's what we've got so far. So repeating that. Screwed up a tiny bit there, but hey, you know, it's a, it's all free, right? So um, that's where we're at. So we're, we land at the end of that progression on a C add nine. And it sounds like he's doing a little flick on that E note there. And then that brings us into our chords that lead us into the verse. So let's take a quick listen further. Alright, so we've got a two chord progression um, here for the majority of our verse. So as we said, we landed on the C add 9 and we go into the verse, which is an E minor 9 chord. I think that's one of the nicest chords that you can play on a, a standard tuned guitar. So what is that? So E minor 7, and then we add the 9th, which is the F sharp, right there. So the change that we're going to be making is C add 9 to E minor 9. E minor 9 to C at 9. Now, what's the common, did anybody see the common thing I'm doing there? That's the key, is that D note. That's the 7th in the E minor 9 chord and the 9th in the C add 9 chord. So, that's, so we'll start with that chord. That's where we land at the beginning of the intro. And we're simply going to move that finger there and put our pinky there. practice that chord change. So what we get is Now this song, by the way, cut your fingernails on your left hand. If your fingernails are a little too long, um, you're going to have a real hell of a time with especially that chord, the E minor 9 chord, right? Oops. So just practice that swap and then the, the rhythm. So let's listen to that real quick. see that that two chord shift makes up the majority of our verse Ver, verse what am I sling blade burst uh, verse no it says besides sending the police you might want to send an ambulance or a hearse so um, that little 
slick right there included, okay, on the E string. Now, at the end of that part, we transition down to an A minor 7 via C add 9, or C 9, and or C add 2 in that case, if there's a... Th yeah, so C add 9, G over B, down to an A minor 7. Let's listen to that little teeny part there. Again. So what he does, he's playing it as a just single note on the B down to an A minor 7 chord there. It's just a walk down on the bass. Now, um, that's how I play it. I think later in the song he does that too. And that takes us back to the close my eyes part, which is just the intro. Right, so let's listen to that one more time. So, what we just discovered is that our verse, uh, or excuse me, our intro is the same thing as our chorus, which makes it a hell of a lot easier, right? You already know the... So the intro is exactly the same thing as the chorus, exactly the same. And it just comes back, you land on that C add 9 chord and go right back into the, the E minor 9, C add 9 progression. Alright, so we've gotten now from the intro, verse, chorus with what we've just learned how to do. So. If we, um, yeah, I don't know. If we, I don't think we need to play through that. We've we've done that quite a bit. So, uh, C add nine, E minor nine in the in the chorus with the walk down to that A minor seven. Back to our intro for the chorus. All right, and that repeats two times. We're at one minute right now. And we're now just coming out of the first chorus after one minute. And then it repeats. You can hear. Okay, so coming out of the second chorus, we lead to the bridge. But he did something a little different there. Listen to the, when we land on the C chord, listen. Lost in you. You hear that? He brings it down to a B in the bass. Time, take a listen. Bridge. Alright, 
so we have a key change here in our bridge. Um, I'm going to call this, yeah, it's kind of a blend between uh, F and C. So I would probably say C is more likely where we're at here in our, in our bridge. The chords are up on the screen for you now. So the, the bridge starts after that uh, held uh, C add 9, B flat, A minor, F, G, F, C, G. So do, do. Second time, same chords again, but then we end on an A sus4. And then back to our intro slash uh, chorus. So let's listen to that bridge one more time, play through it, if I can find the right spot. He's doing a tremendous amount of popping and, and, and hitting and shit on this bridge. Very, very cool. Again, not entirely necessary. Uh, a lot of that stuff I sort of never even bothered to learn. Um, play it a bit more straight. You know, so... So those are the chords. Real, real simple. Very nice. The reason why I say this is in C, uh, we have a B flat, A minor, F, G. Uh, having that G in there as a major chord doesn't really fit in the key of F, so I would just say that we're probably uh, using the B flat as a flat 7 in the key of C would be my uh, sort of analysis there, perhaps. You could also say, hey, there's a lot of, you know, analyzing chord progressions is very subjective, right? So you could call this uh, F major with a, um, a major second instead of a minor. Uh, you could probably analyze this a lot of different ways. You could even find a way to get some kind of modal B flat progression in there. It doesn't matter. That's what's going on, okay? Now, the ACES 4 is interesting. That kind of gives us a way of sort of holding things um, it's neither ma major nor minor so it's a nice way to come out of that bridge and just sort of build a little bit of tension on the vocal and then we release that tension by coming back into the you can hear how um, the use of that suspended chord out of that bridge is a, a beautiful clever uh, device to get us back to the right really really great so we're now at two minutes and we have a minute 20 left in the song there's really nothing new left here to show uh, let's just briefly uh, skip through a bit of the remaining bit of the song great vocal here He never sings that line live, and you can see why, right? Okay, now we come to the last verse. I'll play through this because it's actually interesting what he does here. Really cool, really cool, right? Just to sort of change it up, uh, change the dynamic of that last verse, real emotive, get that beautiful strum. And these are two really beautiful chords. That E minor 9 is criminally underused in, in 
music. Uh, G add nine is everywhere in guitar, um, but this one, just superb. And then we come back into our chorus, and then that pretty much rides out the song. So let's just check out the last 30 seconds or so here. Yeah. End of the song. Aha, so what do we have there? Let's listen to that ending. on a G. Isn't that great? So again, as we said at the beginning, kind of harmony here is uh, floating between G major and E minor with the exception of the bridge. So let's listen to that ending just one last time. Just so great. Wonderful, wonderful ending. So nice big G chord to close it out. So that's our song. Um, chord chart uh, is below with the lyrics list, you know, uh, lined up with the chords. Chords been on the screen here. Any questions you have, let me know. Emails on the screen as well. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this one. Great song, lots to practice. You will become a much, much, much better player if you put some time into this one. All right, guys. Thank you.